Hello, my name is Rebecca and I'm a Student Talent Advisor at EY. At EY, we're a professional services organisation and we provide guidance to clients in areas like business, finance and technology. EY are thrilled to be sponsoring and participating in GrabFest 2021. And we're particularly proud to be involved with the session focused on workplace culture, emotional intelligence and resilience. At EY, we value cross-cultural sensitivity and emotional intelligence in our student and graduate recruits. We want you to know that as a graduate recruit, you can respond well to change and that you have the ability to identify and deal with your own emotions and to recognise and understand the feelings of others. In our upcoming student-led Instagram Live session, we'll be talking about the importance of emotional resilience and how you can demonstrate these traits to a prospective employer by communicating how well you respond to change. We'll be answering your questions. What is cross-cultural sensitivity and awareness and why is it important? What is emotional intelligence? We'll talk about the importance of being able to identify and deal with our own emotions to recognise and understand the feelings of others and when to adjust our own behaviour and our responses to others accordingly. We'll talk about why emotional intelligence is particularly valued in roles that involve interaction with people, whether it's colleagues, customers or leaders. We'll also look at how emotional intelligence is linked to interpersonal communication skills, teamwork and relationship building, influencing skills, leadership and customer service and client management skills. And we'll also discuss some of the ways that you might assess your emotional intelligence at interview. For example, telling us about a time when you've worked with a difficult person. If you've noticed a team member was underperforming, what would you do? How would you persuade someone to do something that they were unsure about? And how would you handle conflict? Or how would you handle a stressful work situation? We'll talk about how you can develop emotional intelligence by interacting with different people from a range of backgrounds. For example, through volunteering abroad, part-time jobs, societies, travelling, all the things that can widen your horizons. As an employer, we look for people with higher emotional intelligence because they can see things from other people's point of view, even if they themselves don't agree with them. We'll talk about how spending time abroad, for example through a gap year, can develop key skills including resilience, initiative and proactivity, planning and organisation, cultural sensitivity and awareness of different cultures, problem solving skills and adaptability and flexibility. We'll also look at key employability skills such as resilience and adaptability and how you as students and graduates have developed these qualities during lockdown and why a prospective employer will value the fact that you can respond positively to change, you can have a can-do attitude and approach, you can be driven by new challenges and you can use your initiative. So join me on Thursday, the 17th of June at 12 p.m. live on the QUB Careers Instagram feed for our student-led Q&A on workplace culture, emotional intelligence and resilience. See you there.